Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I just want to show you something that I've been doing. Just showing you some of the cars that I made. And I put tape or my paper customs and I make pencil marks on them and make them look like raced versions. So, as you can see right here, I got my 187 scale Dill Jr. car. Um, it was just a Richmond car. I'm not sure. It's not a win, but just a race car. Or he's got all the scratches and stuff on the side, the bugs in the front, and on the outside has nothing really, the back nothing, so, so, it's a really cool car. Another one I have, oh, hold on, it's over there, let me go get it. Sorry about that, I just needed to go get it, and the next one is... Uh, David Gillen's 2011 Daytona 500 race car came in third place, almost won. Um, as you can see, looked up pictures. It was heavy on the right side, and also in the back, you can see a lot of more heavier stuff on the right side because if you get to the left, I'll spin out, so they had to stay to the right side. So over here for him, yeah. Over here it's heavy, and over here it's heavy. So you know, you just got the um. The, the typical bump draft marks. So that was a really cool car. Next is another paper custom Robbie Gordon's 2011 Daytona 500. And I know I'm missing a lot of tape, but this car one came out so good. I don't really want to mess it up too bad. So up in the front, you know, you got the bump drafting marks. The um, he got all taped up here and here. He spun out a couple times, and then in the back, he got heavy bump drafting marks. So yeah, this car is really cool because all the, it's all taped up. All right, next car. These are getting into the real cars. My better one still is a 2006 Jimmy Johnson Brickyard 400 win. When he had some damage, I'm not sure what it was. And he ended up having to tape at this whole area. I know it didn't go all the way down here, but I still put the tape on there anyways. And so. Yeah, that's really all it is, is a couple other scratch marks and stuff on the car. Nothing, like, too bad, though, like that, so, yeah, those are the cool one. Next one, um, we have, um, if you don't know these, every single one, except for the 187 Dell Jr. one, was actually raced in a real race. The only one that was actually the winner was Jimmy Johnson. But um, so yeah. And the next car um, is Tony Stewart's 2011 Texas car. Um, and the race part is right there, over here. Um, when he had the accident on pit road, it was um, boom. So <laughs> that was that was terrible. <laughs> So it just wrapped around here, and yeah, that's basically what it looked like. I don't really want to mess up my 2011 car, so I didn't do nothing. Like I just put the tape on there. So yeah, and last but most certainly not least was the very disappointing junior car from Richmond when he attempted to make the chase, and this would be the car. Oh, I got this car Daytona on Twitter because this American that's an all cap. As you can see, it's just it's just a circle. It's not filled in, and it, and it looks horrible because it's in the wrong place. So yeah, <laughs> really raced. And his whole front end over here was completely torn, torn, torn up. Got the little vents here for the it goes straight through to the brakes to cool them off because it's a short track. And then right here, I think he hit Clint Boyer and smashed Clint Boyer's fender in, and also he 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 um. Yeah, that probably sounded like a glitch. <laughs> but yeah, he hit um, Clint Boyer pretty hard. So yeah. Poor Del Jr. I don't even think he made the chase. So yeah. Um, just going to show you real quick. All of tech cars. That got screwed up this year. <laughs> well, uh, not this year, but yeah. Come on, Del Jr., you got it. So, yeah.
pretty much it. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and please, please, please tell me what you think of these cars, because I really want to know, should I keep doing stuff like this, or, because um, I'm thinking about buying some double 2012 cars, like doubles and stuff, so I can just do more of this, so please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later.